By now, one thing you may know about me is that I love making mosaics. It's my favorite kind of art. I love all kinds of arts and crafts. I'm a big crafter. I've written a book about crafting, but um, my favorite kind of art and craft is mosaics. Mosaics, I know, seems like it's an intimidating thing to learn. My first mosaic class that I took that kind of taught me the basics cost hundreds of dollars and I had to spend an entire weekend to learn the basics. I'm gonna teach you how in one simple video. It is my belief that there is an artist inside all of us and that to live a successful and peaceful life, you have to have an alternative to either school or your job. You need something that you do to unwind, something that's safe and healthy. We all need an artistic outlet. Everybody needs to learn how to paint or to sew or to knit or crochet or to do mosaics. I really want you to discover your inner artist and I wanna help you do that. So we're gonna make a set of coasters, a really simple design, a floral design, and we are gonna use glass um, I've got a couple of different types of glass here. I like to mix and match glass. So sometimes I use mirrored glass, stained glass, um, solid looking one colored glass. So for today's uh, project, we're gonna use a couple different types of glass. We're gonna use glue. Uh, we're going to use grout later when we grout the project after we let them dry for 24 hours. And we use what's called a wheel nipper. This is what I use to cut the little pieces of glass. It's really easy to use. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to teach you how to cut the glass. So here is how a lot of glass comes. They come in these small little squares. These squares are about three quarters of an inch and they're, they're about an eighth of an inch thick. And usually they have a little bit of a substance on the back that makes them stick better with glue. So they kind of have a ridge on the back. That's how some glass comes. Some glass is smooth on both sides. See this hefty bag? This is a plastic bag that I use to cut into. Why do I use this? Because when you cut glass and ceramic, you could have little shards of glass that pop off. So a couple things to keep in mind. Make sure that um, if you have a drink around the area that you'll be working, that you put something over it so you don't get a shard of glass in there. So to avoid any of that happening, I cut in a half hefty bag. Also, I suggest you wear glasses or goggles when you cut. In this case, I'll wear some reading glasses and I'll be cutting into this, so I'm doubly safe. Okay, you're gonna take your wheel nipper. Again, this is a little uh, glass cutter and it's two wheels with a spring and a handle like this. And this is all you're gonna be doing. This is the motion. This is how you're gonna cut these pieces of glass. So let's say we wanna do a project where we use rectangles. Right now, this is a square. How do you make a rectangle? You just take the square and cut it straight down in the middle. See that? And you squeeze. Now normally I'd be doing this inside the box because I don't want shards to get everywhere, but I need to show you how to do it. So here you go. See that? We just made two rectangles out of that one square. Okay, so say you want smaller squares for this project, and we are gonna want smaller squares for this project. Then you take that rectangle and you cut that rectangle in half and you put the wheel nipper right in the middle and you squeeze and voila, we now have two smaller squares. See? So that's how you make squares and rectangles. There you go. Every single piece that you cut is going to be slightly different than the next one. So there aren't going to be any perfect squares or perfect rectangles. They're all going to be slightly different because this is a handmade project, DIY, arts and crafts. It's handmade. It's not made by machine. So again, I want you to cut inside the bag because little shards of glass can come off of these projects and I don't want you to get cut and I don't want it to be on the ground. 
Okay, so that's how you make rectangles and that's how you make little tiny squares. How do you make a circle? Sounds hard, right? So not hard. So you take this, again, you're gonna take the uh, square glass and you're gonna start to nip off the corners. See this? I'm just gonna nip a corner and then I'm gonna nip another corner and I'm gonna nip another corner, nip another corner, and you've got what starts to look like a circular piece. And then you can just go even smaller and you can clean it up. And again, we're gonna have tons of shards everywhere because I'm not doing it inside the bag. I always cut inside the bag. And you just kind of go with your little nipper and you clean up the little corners until you get as small of a piece of a, a circle as you need. So see, that starts to become a circle. Easy, right? All you do is just start at the corners and you slowly nip around the entire shape until you get what's going to be the center of a flower. Okay, so that's gonna be the center of a flower. So what else do we need for the flower? Um, we definitely need petals. So how do you do a petal shape? Interesting. How I do a petal shape is I take the edges, here we go, as if we're gonna start to do a, a circle, but we don't. We're gonna just take two of the edges, two sides, boom, one, and then the opposite side. So I've just done that. See, I took two corners off a square. I took that corner off and this corner off a square. And then I clean it up and I nip, I take the nipper and slowly, slowly, slowly start to nip. And then I turn it around. And again, I've left two of the corners of that square on, and those are the two edges, the two long edges. There you go, it's pretty good. Clean it up a little bit. There we go. That is a petal. See that? It's like a leaf or a petal shape. So here's all the shapes I just showed, showed you how to make. They started like this, and that's how most mosaic pieces come as the square. And from this square, I made a circle. I made a petal, petal like that, started like that. I made a rectangle and tiny squares. See, super easy. Now, if you can learn to do any of these four shapes, you can pretty much do anything in mosaic art. This is all we need for this simple project because we are going to make two coasters and we're going to do one flower on each coaster. Super easy. Again, it all comes down to these basic shapes. So um, let's figure out what we want in the center. For this one, let's do, um, okay, let's do a white center. So I'm going to do the center. Taken off the corners first. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I should also be wearing my glasses. Two layers of protection. You don't wanna get glass in your eye or on the ground. So I'm just going around this, what started out as a square. I'm nipping off all the edges until I get the circle that I want and kind of like the, uh, the size I want course the more you go the more you nip off all of these corners the smaller it's going to be okay so this is the center see that I just did a circle and that is going to go in the center the very center of our mosaic if you're not sure where the center is you can just take a pen or a pencil and do a big cross big x right through it and then right in the center will be where technically the center is. So I'm just gonna guess. I'm gonna take out my glue. So all I do with the glue is just dab a tiny bit in the middle. You don't need a ton of glue. See that? 
that is enough glue for that piece. See that? A little dollop of glue. And then we're gonna put that right in the center. Now I'm gonna do all the petals. And how many petals do we need? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're gonna do eight petals around this center flower. Here we go. For the petals, again, you take off the two edges, cross from each other, and then you just start cleaning up. Don't cut in too much, because you don't want to get it too skinny. You don't want to overcut it. You just want the shape to be a petal. All right, keep going, here I go. There. It's kind of a fatty, it's a little bit fatter. Okay, break, wine break. Mm -hmm. Delicious, then put that back on. All right, here we go. Let's do another one, watch this fell. Like it is. I like it. Our last one will go right there. All right, how's that? Woohoo! Okay. So there is our flower in the center. And we'll start at the top and we'll go clockwise, why not? Eight petals in one center. Okay, so how do we fill in the rest? For the background, I need about five or six of these, and I cut them down into the small squares. I'm just pre cutting. I like to pre cut things because then it's easier. I do all the cutting and then I do all the gluing, but you can't always do that. For now, I know kind of how many I need approximately. I'm going to do a little pre-cutting and then I'm going to start uh, working from the middle out. And I suggest when you do your mosaics, you always start from the middle and work outwards. And the only thing I've decided to do to kind of make it all similar is I'm going to do a square in each corner. 
and again leaving about an eighth of an inch at the edges. Why? Because we're going to have grout, grout going on the edges. So I'm going to start with all four corners, a little tiny dab of glue in the middle. See? Just about that much glue for these little squares. And now before, again, before the glue hardens, just look at it and see if you need to space anything out slightly different. Again, this is the background. And so the background of the main design, in this case, we're just doing putting them on randomly just to fill the space. So that is a super simple design. There we go, and it's drying. So all we did was did a circle in the center, eight petals around the edges, and then we just filled in randomly with small squares in light blue. And we left room in between everything. And the space in between is all gonna be grout. really simple design so this is mosaic 101 <laughs> this is really easy this is about as easy as you can get this is just a simple coaster design it's a square so it looks great at every angle right um while this uh dries because it'll take a few minutes to dry you can kind of go around if you want to center something if you think something's slightly off you can move it a tiny bit, but then stop. Don't mess with it too much because once it starts to bond, you don't want to break the seal of the glue. So how's that? Pretty easy. All right, we're going to let this sit overnight, and then we're going to grout it tomorrow. Mm -hmm.